It's great to see you today. Thank you so much for joining me again on this Tuesday morning. Beautiful day. The sun is shining and birds are singing. It uh, just feels like springtime. And it's a great day to remember about the Lord. I trust you had a good night's rest, every night being a good night's rest, and then ready for another day to capture territory for the Lord, but also to accomplish great things in your life and in the life of your family. Many children are having uh, some struggles at home, and we've been praying for you, praying for parents to have wisdom, but also to have grace, okay? Because sometimes we want uh, the, the kids just to do certain things at a certain time in a certain way, and, and it, it's uh, more stressful when that's the parent's job as well as loving the kids and everything else. I have a verse for you today that I think will help you. In that same proverb, Proverbs chapter 15, it says, uh, uh, 16, I'm sorry, verse number seven, it says this, when a man's ways please the Lord, catch that? He makes even his enemies at peace with him. Now, I'm not talking about enemies in your family. <laughs> I'm talking about having your ways please the Lord. It's not just our intentions that are important. It's actually the way we do things makes a big difference. So I encourage you to determine to be soft in your speech towards those around you, to be caring in the way you communicate to those around you. You remember, we're in the same space now, much closer than normal. Many people don't have the, the opportunity to go out and be in their normal circumstances where they're talking to co-workers and others, maybe even out selling whatever your business is. And so now they're home uh, with family members that they're not used to spending 24-7 with. And so this is a little bit more of a challenge. Again, for the children, it's a challenge as well, because for them, they're used to having great opportunity to play at a level of the children, to be able to interact with their peers, to be able to talk about things that they don't talk about with their family members, their parents. And so we, we need to understand that when your ways please the Lord, caring for the kids, helping them grow up, yes, putting some parameters in for them to get their work done on time, but the world will not fall apart if they don't make up quite as much space on one day, maybe they can pick it up the next day. And I believe God will help you with that. But I, I think there's a little more down in these, in these verses that uh, I want to point out to you, just down a few more verses, down around verse number 17. It says this, The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He who keeps his way preserves his soul. And then it says, Pride goes before destruction, and a proud or a haughty spirit before a fall. What, what do we learn from this? Again, our ways please the Lord. So then we stay away from what God calls evil. It's not about what your family parameters are. It's what God calls evil. And then to, to go beyond that is to de determine to do what is right in God's eyes and what would please Him. And sometimes that's bringing correction in, in a family setting. And sometimes it's allowing God to deal with some of those things instead of you. Can you trust God that He knows how to deal with your family? He knows how to deal with those, uh, your bosses, maybe that may be remote from you. He knows how to deal with this. I, I'm thinking now of, of some single parent homes where the children are at home and now the mom or dad is there with them and, and everybody feels really tight about the whole thing. And, and let this be a time where you just break out and, and have some fun with the kids. Don't, don't think you have to just be task focused and make sure they get all the work done every day exactly on time and everything, but sometimes surprise them with something that would be sweet to them, something that would be good to them, something that they would enjoy, that you enjoy doing as a family. Could be a walk, could be something, uh, you, you figure it out. Could be watching a, a, a funny movie that you all enjoy. But think about how can you please the Lord by bringing His peace into your household and doing it with humility. Often parents say, I'm the boss. Why do, you, why do I need to do that, mom or dad? Because I said so. No, that's a wrong answer. The right answer is because it's good for you, it's going to get you the best results. And we're going to take a break. Well, maybe we can take that break now. Do you see how you can work together with God to bring about peace, to maintain peace in your household? And as you do that, you will most definitely please the Lord. So that's our goal for today, is to do the things 
have the ways, the way of doing things that pleases the Lord and is not proud, so we're not lifting ourselves up and wanting my way or the highway, but we're able to do it with kindness and gentleness. Remember, the fruit of the Spirit is in you. Draw it up in Jesus' name.